<clears throat> so I have no idea what to call this tutorial. I like to just make some really cool things sometimes that really just don't make any sense, but just look awesome. But hopefully you like the thumbnail and now we're here. So in this video, we're gonna create some really cool high energy effects with some distortion effects to create this really cool composition. Hey, what's going on internet? This is Josh Noel from Sunduck Film. Welcome to our channel. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button. As always, I hope everyone is doing excellent. So if you're ready to create some really cool work, you're gonna have a lot of cool creative techniques to pull from this. So even if you don't wanna create this, you're gonna have a lot of cool ideas for your future projects. So let's jump in, we'll get started. You can download our project files for free if you want to follow along. So what we have in here is a tutorial composition and we already have a word in here. So the first effect we're going to do is create the energy effects for this. And it's really easy to do. You're going to have to download a free plugin called Saber from Video Copilot. So go ahead. I'll link that below. So what we'll do is come here, layer, new, solid, and we'll call it Saber. And then we'll go to effect video copilot and grab the saber effect after you have that installed. And what we're going to do is come here to customize core, come here to core type and set this to text layer, go to text layer here and change it to force your text. Okay. So what we'll do is come here to the preset and we're just going to grab say arc reactor. I like this one and you can come here and change the color to whatever color you want. I'll just say maybe an orangey here and that's totally fine. And what I want to do is come here to end offset and set this to 50%. Okay, awesome. Then what I'm gonna do is add a keyframe for mask evolution. And I'll come here to say nine seconds. And I'm gonna change the max evolution to three X. Perfect. And then we'll come here to the beginning of our timeline. We'll take our layer and go to edit, duplicate. And from here, we'll go here to preset and we can change this say to energy. And we can change our color to another color as well. Maybe we'll do like a blue one. And what we'll do here is we'll take our mask evolution. We'll uncheck the stopwatch and we'll go ahead and add it there again. And we'll set degrees to 180 degrees. And let's toggle switch the modes and change the blend mode to screen. So boom, we see this overlapping. And then we'll come here to nine seconds and we'll change the mask evolution to 3x. So this way we'll have the entire time two different sides to this. And for this one, I might be set down the end size to like 50% to kind of make that a little less intense. And there's that, that looks great. And what we'll do is take our blend mode for our duplicate layer and set this to screen as well. Then we'll grab our title layer and we'll just duplicate it. And we'll go ahead and hide the bottom layer here. And what we'll do is click on no fill color and we'll tap on the stroke color here to activate that. And we'll come here to the stroke width and set that to three. So what's going to happen is you're going to have a stroke in there that you can see a little bit better. So that's pretty simple for energy effects. So now we'll have these energy effects that will animate around and it looks awesome. All right. So we're going to continue to build some effects on this. We'll grab all of our layers and go to layer pre-compose. You can call it placeholder if you want, because you can change out the titles later and click OK. So now what we're going to do is create this little quick stretch effect here. It'll look great in the final composition. So we'll come here to effect transition and we'll grab CC scale wipe. So we'll come here to the direction and we'll set this to say negative 90 degrees and we'll click the effect. You'll see that there's an anchor point right here. We can move that anchor point around and then increase the stretch and look at that. So now you're going to start getting this effect in here and moving around. You know, it creates a really interesting effect. So what we'll do is come here to the beginning of a timeline. So what we'll do is add a keyframe for center and we'll move forward here, maybe to three seconds. Okay. And we'll move our anchor point over kind of until you know, we can kind of have it stretch out to the end there. Just kind of have it on the side. I think that looks fine. Then maybe we'll have this up here for a few seconds and we'll hit you on our keyboard, bring add a keyframe for center, move forward to maybe eight seconds. And we'll just kind of have this transition offward. Just like that and we'll go ahead and select all the keyframes make it easy ease keyframes by hitting f9 on keyboard we'll come into graph editor we can select a point down here and kind of just move these handles a little bit to customize the you know the effect by a touch so now we have our stretch effect in here which is going to look amazing in the final scene here you can also add this to the other side so you can have two or multiple scale wipe effects in here but it's really awesome. And as always, because we have to pay the bills, I want to give a huge shout out to our 650 motion graphics starter pack extension right here for After Effects. So this is our motion graphics starter pack extension with 650 templates. We have motion graphics in here, animated background templates, social media animations, shape transitions, and of course, titles. And how this works is we can come through here, preview anything that we want to apply before we apply it. And when we find a template that we want, we just click on apply and it automatically applies a full template into your current After Effects project. And we go into this template and for example, change out our titles really quick. And we have our control layer here, which allows us to make changes to adjust the titles and colors to everything to fit perfectly. However, we see fit. And if we want, we can easily change the colors of everything. 
and it automatically updates in our main composition. And we can take this even further with our accent motion graphics. We have over 160 of these in this pack and we come into clusters, for example, and we'll apply a cluster. So now with a few clicks of a button, we now have a full title animation here along with some accent graphics that help spruce up our composition and whatever we're working on. So a lot of options just in this one pack. So if you're looking to save a tremendous amount of time while producing awesome work, you can take a look at any of our packs off our website. I will link them below. If you do pick up anything from our website, you will be supporting our channel. So thank you very much. All right, so we're ready to start decking this thing out. So we'll grab our work with the stretch or the scale wipe effect and we'll pre-compose this layer and you can call it scale done if you want move all attributes to new composition click ok and then the first thing we want to do is create this quick little reflection here that's really going to bring the scene to life so what we'll do is we'll take our composition here we'll duplicate it come here to the bottom layer and we'll first of all we'll bring it downward make sure we set both these layers to screen real quick so they'll blend over on each other and we'll grab our bottom layer and we'll come here to layer transform and we'll do a flip vertical boom that kind of overlay on self and that's great then what we need to do is bring in a quick floor layer. So I have this floor texture in here. You can download it or you can just find your own you know, sort of texture online for free. And I'll go ahead and bring this on the bottom of the composition. And we'll pre-compose this layer and call it floor. And we'll toggle switch modes and make this 3D layer. Hit R on keyboard for rotation. Come into X rotation and set this to 90 degrees. Hit P on keyboard for position. We'll bring the Y value down here to the bottom. And, you know, we'll hit Astron Keyboard for scale and we'll just kind of scale this out. All right. And I think that's totally fine. We'll go ahead and turn off this layer and we'll go to layer, new adjustment layer. Bring this layer right underneath our first, you know, layer there. Same layer a lot, but whatever. Come here to effect, blur and sharpen, and we're going to add a compound blur to this. Set the blur layer to the floor layer and maybe we'll set this up to like 40. All right. So you're going to get a nice little blur here on the bottom and it looks really good. All right, so take this to the next level, it's really easy to do. We just gotta add a few creative effects. So we'll go ahead and create a new adjustment layer. And the first effect we'll apply is go to effect, distort, and we'll grab a quick optics compensation. You know, I love using this. We'll set this up to 70, the field of view, and check on reverse lens distortion. Then we'll go to effect, noise and grain, and we'll just add a quick noise. We'll set this up, set this up to like maybe 16%, uncheck use color noise, big difference there. Come here to effect, distort, and we'll grab CC lens. And we'll set this to 120. Beautiful. So now we're getting this little warp perspective here. It looks great, especially if you have like the scale wipe here. Looks awesome. Definitely looks awesome as it comes in here. Then let's go ahead and add another adjustment layer. And this time let's go to effect, stylize, and let's grab motion tile. This will add a little bit of a camera shake to what we're doing here. So what we'll do is increase the output width and height to maybe like 300, 350. Oh, click the stopwatch for tile center and type in wiggle, open parenthesis, 0.5 comma 60 close parenthesis like that i am going a little bit fast here so please i hope you don't mind pausing the video and make sure you check on mirror edges for that tile center so boom and also if you get your hands like on a particle pack or something like that this can also help bring this next level anytime you can incorporate some third party elements into your work that always helps all right and let's go ahead and create one more adjustment layer and this will be like our final effect so we'll come here to effect noise and grain we'll grab hsl or noise hsl come here and set the noise to grain and we'll set the lightness up to maybe like 12%. We'll add some nice noise in there. We'll go to effect color correction curves. We can add a little bit of color to this. Maybe we'll create like a little bit of an S curve real quick. Come here to maybe the green channel and bring this down by a touch. You know, I think that's totally fine. And then we can also go effect color correction hue and saturation. Maybe desaturate this just by a little bit so it's not so colorful. And one thing we'll do is come back here to the noise HSL and we'll all click the stopwatch for noise phase. And we'll type in time asterisk 200 and this will animate the noise and make it a little bit more natural and smooth. So if you were to follow along, you should have something very similar to this. So now you have a handful of different techniques you can implement into your work or you can just copy this entire thing and have something really cool for your portfolio. So I hope you did enjoy this video. If you're new here, be sure to hit that subscribe button because we post multiple post-production tutorials every single week right here on the channel. You can also hit me up on my social media networks. Those links are below and always be creating.